What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you about my encounter with the Golden Freddy. So recently when I was playing Among Us, I encountered a mysterious player by the name of Freddy, who would randomly disappear in the middle of matches. Nobody knows where Freddy came from, but the one thing that I do know is that he's on the loose. So whenever you play Among Us, make sure to look around. And before we get any further into this video, if you're new to the channel and want to see more story videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to leave a like down below. Your support means the world to me. But now, let's begin with the video. So something strange happened to me while I was playing Among Us. I haven't really gotten the opportunity to test out the brand new colors which are still full of mystery. There are six in total, and it's for the 15 player lobbies. And one thing that I just didn't understand is why didn't Among Us add the gold color, or even silver? They had the opportunity to add those two colors, but they didn't. But why? They did end up adding gray, which is somewhat similar to silver, but gold and silver are not in the game. The players in my lobby ended up leaving, but after some time of waiting, the lobby was somewhat full. We had enough players to start a game. I was a crewmate and the first thing that I did was walk into the vault. But Gray was following me for whatever reason. Maybe he has a task in here. The one mystery surrounding the airship map that I have yet to solve. Why is there a lot of gold in this map? We have the golden hat. We have this golden drill. At least that's what I think it is. And we have a pile of gold. There's so much gold in the airship map but no gold color. Why is that? I then soon realized that I didn't have any task in here. So I didn't want to waste my time and I left. Into the armory. And I found more golden items. These two pistols. And some barrel. And Gray was also in here. I don't know why he's still following me. Doesn't he have tasks to do? Brown was also in here. When I entered the kitchen, the lights ended up turning off. So I went to go fix them. And I did a quick wire after I was done. I then entered the kitchen once again. And I found Gray's body. The player that was with me the majority of the time. The last person that I remember being with Gray was Brown, so I told everyone to vote for him. He then tried to lie to everyone, but it completely backfired because he was ejected. I have no idea why he killed Gray, since it would be pretty obvious. I continued to do my task around the airship map, and everything was fine. I even managed to honk the horn in the front of the ship, which is a brand new feature. I got about half of my tasks done. After just a few minutes, the game was going very peaceful knowing that no one was behind me. I just hate when that happens. That feeling of someone just watching you. I then had a task to do in the cargo bay, which is to unlock the safe. And that task can get pretty annoying if you don't know how to open a locker. And when I clicked on the task, it just showed me an empty locker. But there is a mask in here. It looks very familiar. Is that Freddy's mask? From Five Nights at Freddy's? Is this what the locker has been hiding? I ended up picking up the mask. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I guess I'll just keep it in my backpack. Since I took the mask, it showed that the task was now complete. Even though I didn't unlock the safe, it was already opened. I ended up finishing the rest of my task without dying, which is pretty surprising. We also ended up ejecting Rose, and we won the game. But I wonder why I have this mask. I joined another lobby, and I had these bear ears. I don't remember ever putting them on. I went over to the computer and I tried to get rid of them, but it wasn't letting me. There was now a player by the name of Freddy in my lobby, and he also had the bear ears. Could this be Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's? Nah, it can't be. Must be a fan. We got into a game and I spawned inside of the brig, and I made my way over to Electrical to do a quick task. And when I entered security, I saw Freddy, and he was watching the cameras. I don't think it's a coincidence that Five Nights at Freddy's is a camera game, where you have to constantly check the cameras, and this Freddy is just staring at the cameras. Very similar. I was scrolling through the cameras to see what Freddy was staring at, and when I checked the camera that was in the engine room, I saw a golden Freddy flash on my screen. He just vanished. 
So I closed the cameras, and Freddy was nowhere to be seen. It was right next to me a second ago. So I went over to the engine room, and nothing was there. I'm pretty sure I saw a golden Freddy in the cameras. So I went back to the security room and Freddy was there, in the same spot that I saw him last time. Didn't he vanish? A body was then reported, and we all skipped. There really wasn't much talking involved. After what I witnessed in the last round, I wanted to clear my mind off some things. But then I found Freddy right next to the locker. The same locker that I found the mask. Maybe I am wearing the mask, which is why I have these ears. As I was staring at Freddy, he completely vanished out of thin air, but I found him again in security, in the same spot checking the cameras. I didn't want to be next to Freddy anymore, so I left, and I also double checked the engine room but nothing was there, but then Freddy's body was reported. I leave him for a second and now he's dead. I told the crewmates that Freddy was teleporting. And this seems to be a common issue among other players. When I got back into the game, the first thing that I did was check the cameras since I didn't have to worry about Freddy since he was gone. But when I checked the engine room, my camera was glitching and the golden Freddy appeared again, this time making a very loud noise. This really scared me because I'd never seen anything like this. Who is this golden Freddy? But then when I went over to the engine room, my game froze. My screen then flashed white, and I was now Freddy, and I was in the same spot that I was before. The lights then turned off, but a thought came to my mind. I need to check the cameras. Since I'm now Freddy, I should look at the cameras and see what he was looking at. I opened up the cameras and I didn't see anything, but then they turned completely gray. My view was completely blocked. So I left the camera room and I went back to engine. I then heard a noise and the golden Freddy appeared right in front of me. My screen was flashing white and it was glitching. At one point I disappeared and I was now a ghost. But my body was still there. Freddy is on the loose. But we have to stop him soon. If you would like to know what happened next, make sure to leave a like down below for part 2. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to support a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to this channel and want to see more story videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other manga story videos that I found on my channel.